Hey guys, how you guys doing? Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to update uh, your firmware or how to actually update or install the Mr. Cox Professional Firmware. There's a new release that came out. I'm currently running the 2.1.3 that was released back in March. And um, a few weeks ago, the May release was was um, uh, was uh, compiled by Mr. Cox and released for us to use. Here are the changes, and uh, here's how you would download it. So I'm going to link this page in the description. You just want to scroll all the way down, and we're going to download. If you have an Ender 3 V2 Neo, just double check you have the 4.2.2 motherboard, and um, this is the one you want to install. So this is for uh, the BL Touch, and here's the bit file. So just a quick thing that you should know. Of course, you want to turn your printer off for this. And I'd recommend you, uh, if you if you have issues using a 32 gigabyte SD card for this, I recommend you get an 8 gigabyte one. For some reason, the one that came stock with the printer, which is a, if I can get that, that's a Kingfast. For some reason, this doesn't work very well, and it seems to give me some problems. So. I had to find a just an old 8 gigabyte SD card for this. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that onto your PC. I would recommend that you format the SD card. And this is the allocation size you want. If your SD card does not have this uh, allocation unit size for uh, 4,000, 96 bytes it's not going to work and also you have to have a fat 32 uh, file system okay so formats complete um, i'm going to go ahead and copy this i downloaded it twice so make sure you get the correct one so i'm going to copy the file we're going to paste it over to the sd card and we can eject the SD card at this point. Remove the SD card from the computer. We're gonna insert the SD card while the printer is off and we're gonna turn on the printer. Okay, so, all right, so here's what happened real quick in case you uh, encounter this issue. So I have my SD card formatted and everything, but it just will not load it. It's still stuck on the previous version of the firmware. So if this happens to you, just turn off your printer, move the SD card, put it back into your PC. Gonna open up your file manager and the name on it the sometimes what happens is that um, it reads the file but it doesn't load it and for some reason it thinks that it read it previously and I don't know what exactly how to explain it but if it happens to you the quick thing you can try is by just renaming the file so in this case I'm just gonna add an extra uh, a at the end okay and just like that just change the name to something different. I don't think it, it shouldn't really matter uh, what you change it to, just something different. So eject the SD card again. Insert it to your printer and turn it back on. Okay. So it's actually loading at this time. See, this went to reboot. And Boom, we have the new version installed. Um, we're gonna go over to the info screen and uh, yep, there we go. All right guys, so um, after you install your firmware, the next step you wanna do is uh, change your um, your motion values back to your what you had originally. In this case, I'll share the ones I have because they'll be if you have if you have the V2 Neo, they'll be the same. So, for your max speed, I have this, and to change them, you just have to click on it, 
and move the values up or down if yours are different. For acceleration, those are the following settings. Jerk. Steps. This value should be different for you, uh, especially if you're running uh, the standard standard Bowden or uh, a different uh, extruder or setup in this case. So make sure you double check this or just recalibrate E steps all from scratch, um, as you probably should be doing. Okay. Um, in regards to your printer dimensions, you'd move those or adjust them over here in advanced going down to physical settings and these are what you should have or if you have something different um, I don't know if you have a some sort of like custom something set up then th these are going to be your baseline and then just adjust from there but this is what you should have uh, for the V2neo okay um, everything else is going to be up to your personal preference uh, one quick thing I want to show you guys is if you notice my icons don't show that border behind it the way you change that so it blends in that so your background blends in with your icons is by going over to advanced and you will want to scroll all the way down to select colors and then change the screen background these are the ones you want you want your red to the two green to seven and blue to four what this will do is it will match your um, your background to your icon so whenever you're in the screen it just looks so much cleaner and it's uh, it's just easier to look at um, from here you're all set setting up the printer you just want to um, go and uh, run your uh, Z offset um, if you haven't changed anything physically your Z offset should be very close to what you had previously um, Oh, and, and I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if you if your screen does not look like this, this is because I have um, the theme installed. I forgot what it's called. It's just been so long since I installed it. I just keep forgetting to mention this because I know for in your cases it might look different. But in order to install the 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 screen um, theme, I'll, I'll probably do it in another video. Let me know if you if you want to want me to go through that. But I'll leave the links to that in the video description. It's the same process. But you'll have to take off your screen for that, disassemble your screen, and then you're going to enter your, um, you're going to download the, the theme into the SD card. But th there's an SD card slot inside the screen you'll have to plug it into. It's not too hard, but let me know if you want me to go in depth with that. And the, the instructions are in, in the link I'll leave below, so you can follow that too. It's, it's pretty easy though. And, um, uh, but yeah, uh, from here you just want to, uh, calibrate your Z offset and then run the mesh and then save your mesh to your to your bed and yeah but, but here you're all set um, enjoy the new firmware uh, with all the changes I'm gonna print with it and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a lot better than the previous version but I'll let you guys know if something's weird or something like that but if you kind of any, any problems then just just go to the forums let him know and he's really good at fixing stuff so he he's really quick he's really active so Big props to Mr. Stock for keeping this uh, printer alive still and providing us uh, updated Marlin updates because currently they I don't they, they haven't released an update in a long time. Uh, so big props to him and the community he has behind uh, backing him up as well. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and help you out if I can. I'm no expert, but hope this helps uh, a couple of you uh, upgrading or installing to the newest uh, firmware release. So yeah, uh, have a great day. Peace out.